Well, and Congressman Womack, one major uh, appropriations uh, issue that's going on, it's, it's health care uh, and Obamacare. And we know last week the uh, uh, administration and Treasury Department uh, acknowledged that there's some issues with the employer mandate, and they've uh, allowed businesses an extra year uh, to comply with that and uh, delayed it for employers only. And you issued a statement in regard to that that, uh, unfortunately, simply delaying enforcement of the mandate uh, doesn't change that if you're only going to apply this to employers. And it, it doesn't provide the relief for individuals uh, who will see their premiums skyrocket. What, what are your key problems with only doing a delay for employers? Well, my biggest problem is I think it, 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 just on its surface, uh, if you look at it logically, uh, it it basically incentivizes employers, now that they're not going to be held accountable for uh, and pushed for another year, it incentivizes them to drop coverage. Uh, you know, the, in, and I think the health care law itself was designed to uh, force empl- or cause employers to want to uh, take a business-like approach and say, well, look, it's, it's better if we drop coverage and just send everybody to the exchanges. So this, this whole thing about, the, uh, about Obama delaying uh, the employer mandate uh, is totally, uh, totally unaffected by that as the individual mandate, so there's still going to be a requirement uh, for the individual to have to acquire, which is going to push, I think, more and more people into the exchanges. Uh, so you've, you've given businesses a pass, uh, but at the same time, uh, the individual mandate still sticks and still stands. And so as a result of that, uh, I think it's just a, a ploy on the part of the Obama administration to get past the 2014 elections or at least move in that direction past the 2014 elections and, uh, and, and buy a little time and at the same time uh, show, I think, uh, it, uh, in their case, uh, do what they can to appease business, uh, so to speak. So. Uh, we just think that this whole process is uh, flawed. Uh, it has been called a train wreck. I don't think anything has changed uh, about Obamacare. They're not ready. Uh, it's a mess, and we're doing everything we can to try to fix the mess up here, but uh, it's proving very difficult to do since it's a matter of law now. Right. Congressman, th- thank you for that, and I-, I think you've just expressed the sentiments of, of- the large majority of Americans, just the fact that this Obamacare thing was just pushed through and rife through. And, and it seems that the uh, president and his administration is set on picking winners and losers. And uh, those of us that uh, do go to work every day and have jobs and, and carry the burden. But my, my question is, what is the viability that uh, you guys are able to stop the individual mandate now based on this since he made this unilateral decision to, to alleviate the pressure from businesses? Hard to say. You know, I, I, one, of the, one of the things that really troubles me, and of course, you know, my background was I was a mayor. Um, and in the executive branch of government, you are subject to what the legislative branch uh, imposes on you. you, know, you know, they, they pass the laws, uh, and it's up to the executive branch to see that those laws are carried out. That's how I operated as a mayor. It's how our governor operates in the state of Arkansas, and it's, it's the way the process is designed to do. I find it harder and harder to believe that in this country, under this process, uh, that the executive branch, and in this particular case, the President of the United States, could just choose to uh, whether to carry out certain laws that have been passed by Congress. Right. Uh, so in the case of the health care law, you've got the employer mandate, you, got, you have the individual mandate, but here's the President deciding, well, we're just going to give a pass on one piece of this law uh, for the year because, for, for whatever reason. But it's not the first time that he's done that. Right. Uh, just it hadn't been that long ago that he decided that we, we're not going to, and, and this federal government has not enforced immigration law, and more recently has decided that they're not going to deport uh, certain people uh, that are known violators of, of immigration laws in this country. So over and over and over again, this administration seems to want to um, ignore uh, the, the will of Congress, and, and uh, we have our work cut out for us to try to bring the executive branch back in line.